Hey there, Robert Moody with Marine Max at the Dallas Yacht Center here in Lake Louisville. Today I want to show you a 2010 Sea Ray 310 Sundancer. It's a brokerage boat. Now let's do a quick little walkthrough. First thing you notice up here in the bow, it does have two sun lounges on there and they can kick up for a headrest, which is really nice. Uh, also you notice between the sun lounges is a big, there's an opening hatch, but also another big window. Uh, once we get down the cabin, I'll show you how that lets so much light into the cabin. You get down below, you don't feel like you're in a cave. So pretty cool feature. Um, let's take a look. It does have a radar arch with a little hardtop bimini on it with the extension uh, canvas on there. He does have the full enclosure too and a snap-on uh, cockpit cover for the summertime. So use the boat year-round. The back end of the boat, they did something pretty cool on this, is they put some lockers right here in the swim platform. Um, so you can put fenders in here, lines in there, a cooler in there, bags of ice, drinks, whatnot. There's also a good storage compartment right back here on the seat. But what's really cool about this back seat, when you're at the lake and you want to lay out, you can drop it down real easy. Now you got more of a sun lounge right here on the transom where you like to hang out on the back end of the boat. Like most boats, it's got a transom shower here with hot and cold water. Nice little walk through coming into the cockpit. The options in this boat, he did get the cockpit refrigerator. So real easy to grab your drinks and food and snacks without having to go down the cabin letting out all that cold air. Also has a Kenya grill. Uh, great grill right here in the cockpit too. Pretty cool layout on the 310 Sundancer. A lot of seating on here, but with the driver's helm seat, they made it so you can rotate it and move the backrest so when you're anchored out, everybody can sit here together. Just more seating. Uh, when it's time to drive the boat, you can kind of straighten up the seat, move this backrest this way, and now you're here at the helm. Uh, this boat is powered by a twin Merc Cruisers uh, 5.0 liter uh, V8s, and it does have joystick control. So docking the boat, Push it the way you want to go, twist it. It's got all the cool features on it. Also has sky hook and auto heading on it as well. Um, the boat has about 230 hours on it. It's a 2010 again, so that's really low hours for uh, a 2010 year model boat. I really like how the easy access up to the bow is. Uh, permanent molded in steps getting up to the bow, so it's really safe and easy. Um, they did a side entry getting down into the cabin, so on a nice day, if you get the doors leaving open, people are still up and down off the bow into the cockpit uh, without having to open and close uh, the cabin door all the time. Let's step down below and take a look. The side entry with really high top makes it easy. You really don't have to duck to come down uh, the way that they do it. Um, pretty unique layout what they did in here. It's a big V-shape seating. There's obviously a big table, a nice teak table that goes here. So if you want a lot of eating area inside the cabin, or if you just want a big lounge to come down here and cool off, uh, plenty of seating. Nobody's really looking at your bed. Nobody's sitting on your bed. But during the day, you can get a lot of people down here uh, to relax and cool off and maybe grab a meal. Here's the skylights I was talking about. Yeah, all boats have a Ford hatch on it, but to have this extra lighting on here, it really lightens up uh, the cabin of the boat. I'll show you. If it's summertime, it's too much heat, I can stop it right there, the blind. Or you can totally close the whole blind off um, and just keep it nice and really cool in here. When it's time, it is time to go to bed, there's filler cushions that complete this whole area right here, so this becomes a massive bed in the bow of the boat. That side table over there, you can remove that table, put another filler cushion in, and extend the bed out all the, the way over there. Or, you know, maybe another person can sleep off to the side and you got two people over here and one person over there. Uh, a lot of great storage. All these cabinets open up for storage. Um, there is a TV here in the main cabin of the boat. So you can watch uh, movies, local air channels uh, that's being broadcast to you on HD. Here in the galley, it's a typical galley. You got electric or alcohol burner. You got a refrigerator down below. And again, storage cabinets everywhere, microwave, another closet storage here. And of course you got the wet head.
and it does have a um, mid cabin. So this would probably be the main bed of the boat. Um, there is a TV in the back right hand corner down by where your feet would probably go. That's a quick little tour of our uh, 2010 Sea Ray 310 Sundancer. Uh, if you have any questions about this boat or any of our other boats here at the Marine Max at the Dallas Yacht Center, we're on Lake Louisville at Pier 121 Marina. We'd love for you to come down and um, we can help answer any questions you might have. Please come see us. Bye.